We're here at the Water Club with Anthony. Can you please show us your badge? Sure. My name is Anthony Turton. Okay. I'm from South Africa. Okay. I'm here at the World Water Week to share some of our ideas about water in the mining sector in South Africa. Okay. South Africa is a water-constrained mining-based economy. Uh, we have over 120 years history of mining and at the moment we have a lot of environmental catastrophes happening in my country because of mining. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the whole problem of acid mine drainage, um, social dislocation arising from the fact that mines have been managed irresponsibly and they were never uh, properly uh, planned for in terms of their post-closure strategy. So um, the work that I'm doing now is with the mining sector okay. where we are developing the 21st century uh, standards for new mines. These are mines that don't yet exist. We are planning for closure from uh, the, the moment that we start the mine. Mm -hmm. And one of the most exciting things that we're trying to do there is we are asking the question, uh, if you have uh, great big uh, bits of capital plant machinery uh, that move around huge billions of tons of rock over a period of 30 years, that's the life of a mine, mm -hmm. can we not do that in a responsible way? Can we not leave something behind, a legacy that is positive as opposed to the legacy that is negative uh, as we are currently experiencing? So, so what we're doing, uh, at the, uh, we just developed a plan for a big open cast mine, a uh, coal mine that is going to start uh, next year. Uh, it will leave a, a, a hole in the ground that's 21 kilometers long, one and a half kilometers wide and 200 meters deep, plus or oh, minus. Wow. And uh, what we've uh, done from the beginning is we've designed that, that mine, uh, that as we mine forward, we are going to be engineering an aquifer behind us. So we're going to be leaving behind something, a vast storage capacity uh, that has been properly engineered from the day one, uh, where the company is being held fully accountable in a transparent way to report it. Mm -hmm. And we believe that this is our contribution to responsible mining in the 21st century in areas that are water constrained and uh, culturally and uh, ecologically sensitive. Can you explain me a little bit more of how you're going to do the water management in this new mine? Well, the water management, uh, a lot of mining is about water management. Mm -hmm. You must appreciate that uh, when you go underground, it becomes very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, so consequently, one of the biggest costs in a mining operation is the cost of pumping water. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we built that into the business plan from the beginning. And typically, your, your, uh, when your mine closes down, you have various rocks that are now being broken up mm -hmm. and they are coming into contact with oxygen and uh, these, the ore bodies that we have in South Africa are sulphide based. The sulphide based ore bodies oxidize and form sulphate, SO4. No, sulphate uh, comes into contact with water, H2O, mm -hmm. and you get sulfuric acid, H2SO4, coming out. Mm -hmm. So eventually, all of these mines produce huge quantities of acid and when you finish mining, the mine void fills up and uh, over many, many years it might take a decade or two to fill up, but when it fills up, it then starts uh, overflowing with this highly acidic water. Okay. And in the case of the gold mining industry, it's also associated with uranium, so the water is also radioactive. Oh, no. uh, if uh, you're interested to know more about this, I, uh, I had a talk uh, that I gave at a, TED, at a TEDx uh, event called okay. Reinventing Uncivilization. Okay. If you just Google the words Reinventing Uncivilization at the TEDx to Cape Town, there's a whole lot of information there about the radioactivity side of it. Uh, so that's the legacy issue. We've learned from the legacy now. We don't want to repeat that mistake. That's so the it. question now is how do we learn from the past? South Africa as a country that uh, used to be world leaders in medical technology with heart transplants, used to be world leaders in mining engineering, used to be world leaders in water resource management. We can now reclaim those positions with dignity and integrity and hopefully become the, uh, the world leaders for responsible mining in water constrained areas that are culturally and ecologically sensitive. That's great. Thank you very much. Only a pleasure. Thank you very much.